Welcome back to the channel folks. In this video I'll show you what to do or how to disable the settings in your tenant so that whenever you're adding a new user or new email to an Outlook app you don't get prompted here or you're not forced to set up a MFA method. So we'll go to the browser here. Log in with your admin credentials. Uh, we want to navigate to the Entra portal. You can go to the Entra portal from 365 by just clicking on the identity option here. Once you're there, we want to expand the identity. So there are two things that could be enforcing this on the organizational level. First thing you want to check is you go to overview and then you go to properties and then you want to make sure the security defaults are disabled. Now these two uh, these this is not really advised or recommended by microsoft to disable this as this provides you the minimum level of security by default if you do disable it they will still warn you to use other methods to enforce uh, multi-factor authentication we'll go ahead ignore the this the message here and just Hit choose disable and hit save. Mine is already disabled so it's grayed out. Uh, once you have disabled it, another thing to make sure is you go to protection then click on the conditional access. When you click on conditional access make sure this policy is not there. So you can see I have this conditional access enabled with the policy required multi-factor authentication for all users. So as the name says, this is gonna force all the new users to have a multi-factor authentication method set up, uh, even when we are adding the email for the very first time, which is this. So basically what you do is you can either delete it, okay, uh, or you can click on it and you can turn it, simply turn it off. So we'll hit save here and once it's saved, you can see the state says it's off. Uh, we're gonna try adding the same email once again. So I'm just gonna close this and then Outlook is gonna give me an error, but it's fine. We hit okay. We'll click on new again. Let's call it test profile. Let's click on okay. And this will be given, prompted to you. We're gonna try our test account, username, the same email we were trying to add before. The password is pretty simple. Don't try accessing it because after this video, I will be res resetting the password. Now, as you can see, it's it's giving us a different option now. Even though it says more information required and you can hit next and set up your MFA, but you do have an option to skip it for 14 days. So we can just click on ask later and then we'll click on OK. And that's going to take a while and go ahead and set up the account for us. So yeah, that's how you skip past the required registration option. So it's prompting me again. We'll click on ask later. So this could happen and you're all set. Let's click on done here and says adding. I had to pause the video but after waiting for 50 seconds the account got added and you can see in in the Outlook app here uh, the email account that we were trying to add in the beginning of this video.